with those two brewers accounting for $5 billion in sales between them, this is considerably more than friendly competition. Robert Bazell reports. Miller is the country's second largest brewer and wants to be number one. Anheuser-Busch is number one and wants to stay there. Never will they knock us over. We feel they feel our, our hot breath right on their back. The competition has led to an unprecedented fight before a federal agency. It began when Miller bottled its own version of Lohenbrau, a German beer. Lohenbrau threatened sales of Michelob, a product of Anheuser-Busch. Anheuser-Busch fought the threat with a complaint before the Federal Trade Commission. It charged that Miller was deceiving the public by making it appear that its Lohenbrau was made in Germany. And it charged that Miller's Lohenbrau was inferior to the German Lohenbrau. Miller's president, William Howell, denies there was any deception. There was never any intention on the Miller Brewing Company's part to even imply that this beer was imported or was uh, uh, sold by Lohenbrau Munich. But after the complaint, Miller changed its advertising. You want the taste of a truly great American beer. Tonight, let it be Lohenbrau. Then Miller struck back. Miller filed a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission charging that Anheuser-Busch was deceiving the public by claiming that Budweiser and his other beers are natural. Miller accused Anheuser-Busch of enhancing its beers with unnatural chemical additives. One of Miller's charges centers on what Anheuser-Busch calls beechwood aging. Anheuser-Busch puts these pieces of beechwood into its metal brewing vats. The wood is first washed with baking soda or sodium bicarbonate. Miller claims the term beechwood aging is deceptive and that the procedure is unnatural. Miller also points out that Anheuser-Busch uses tannic acid, which is extracted from plants during the brewing process. Anheuser-Busch says that almost all of the tannic acid is removed before the beer is bottled, and it says that its beers are natural. Anheuser-Busch claims Miller is only trying to confuse beer drinkers. Dennis Long, Anheuser-Busch vice president. They're trying to show that Anheuser-Busch is not a natural brewer. In fact, they're deliberately, in our opinion, misleading uh, and confusing the consumer. Anheuser-Busch has, has uh, admitted, after two false starts, that they use tannic acid, that they use sodium bicarbonate, that they use calcium sulfate, that they use sulfuric acid. But now they want us to uh, tell us that these chemicals are natural. And, and to me, that's absurd. The FTC has not ruled on either complaint. Large corporations have seldom, if ever, complained about each other before the FTC. And the episode shows how fierce the competition has become for America's $16 billion a year beer market. Robert Bazell, NBC News. And that's our report for this evening. I'm Jess Marlowe.